go ahead and begin. It is 3 of 4, according to maybe 3 of 3, according to the clock on the wall.
And here is a, a list of all of the groups that we um, had participating in the project. Hull Street today is really a pass-through space. It's a corridor that people take largely to get from one place to another, and the desire is to get through it as quickly as possible. Yet for many people, Hull Street is also their community place. And we wanted in this study to do several things. We wanted to create better places for people who live in the area and who pass through the area to go to and we wanted to create and evolve from Hall Street a place rather than just a corridor. We wanted Hall Street to become a place where people can walk and feel comfortable and safe in walking. We wanted through that to connect people to their home, from their homes to their shops, to schools and to opportunities for entertainment by creating an economic mix along the corridor. At the same time, we thought it was extremely important to protect the existing residential communities that live adjacent to the corridor and to enhance those communities through providing better access to parks and additional green spaces. How do we get there? We looked first at Hull Street as a roadway itself. And we looked at the strategies for enhancing that roadway so that it can become a pleasant place to drive along, to walk along, and to bike along. And so for the city of Richmond, the cross section for Hull Street would remain the same in the sense that um, there are currently two lanes of traffic in each direction. Those two lanes of traffic would be sustained and kept, but in addition to that, um, the street would be enhanced through uh, landscaping, enhanced streetscape, sidewalks, and bike lanes. And we found that there is enough room to do all of that along Hull Street. So here is Hull Street today at the Warwick Road intersection. And through the enhancements that I just showed you in the cross section, this is the potential for Hall Street in the future. And you can see there are sidewalks, there are bike lanes, and Hall Street has, has become more of a place rather than a highway. This is the night view. Lighting, we found, is, is going to be essential to help encourage people to walk and feel safe as they walk on Hull Street. In addition, we looked at amenities such as bus stops. Many of the people who, um, who are served by Hull Street do take the bus, um, and yet there are very, very few bus stops along Hull Street. And so we looked at opportunities while enhancing the corridor to also provide pleasant places for people to be able to wait for the bus. So the key elements for, that we looked at in this study for the city of Richmond included street enhancements that in and of themselves can, can signal to people within the region that things are changing on Hall Street, come and bring your business to the whole street corridor um, so that we could ultimately achieve a range of shops, offices, and other options along the corridor. Um, we think that there are possibilities for professional service offices. When we spoke to the community, we often heard about the need for senior housing, more and better senior housing along the corridor. Uh, we think that there are opportunities for low-scale townhomes with some mid-scale apartments on corridor, opportunities to be defined for additional parks and open space, 
and opportunities for safer walking and biking routes. So for the 4.7 mile corridor, we um, felt that the starting point would be four activity centers which would serve as the focal areas for change along the corridor. Two of these going from uh, right to left would be in the city of Richmond. The middle one is both in the city of Richmond and Chesterfield County. Um, and two would be in Chesterfield County. I'd like to explain each one of these to you. And it would help if I press the right button. Uh, so the first one is really the gateway from the city of Richmond to the Hall Street Corridor. And it is called the Town Center and Family Entertainment Center. This is an area right now that has um, the intersection of Warwick Road and Hull Street where there has been some recent retail development. There's a trailer park in this area. There is some multifamily housing behind the corridor. We looked at this gateway as an opportunity to enhance the mixed use areas at the intersection of Hull Street and Warwick Road. Um, we felt that there's already a successful hub in this area and that's the area where the Food Lion and Skateland sites are and we thought that this was an area that could be enhanced uh, to be more of a community amenity for the area. We felt there were opportunities for significant townhouse and multifamily housing in the area as well as the potential for senior housing and assisted living. And we thought that there were also wonderful opportunities for open space and for some workshop retail that would allow some of the current light industrial to stay in the area, but to fit compatibly with additional retail in the area. We've assumed that Stateland and Food Lion would remain. So here is that area today. And with the addition of um, the possibility of senior housing in the background, um, the, a possibility of new open space to buffer housing on both sides of Hull Street, and the addition of sidewalks, this is the way that area, which is the gateway into this corridor for the city of Richmond, could begin to look. Moving further along west to the area that's intersected by the Chippenham Parkway, we think that there are additional opportunities to redevelop some of the era, commercial areas that are already there. Um, and we're calling this area the Design Slash Health and Wellness Center. When Virginia Commonwealth University looked at the Hull Street Corridor, they defined opportunities for enhancing the design center capabilities that are already in this area. And we thought through our economic analysis that that was actually a, a wonderful recommendation. So in this area, we are looking at infill for commercial areas on the Richmond side. We feel that the Haynes that's there now uh, provides both wonderful short-term opportunities toward that design center. And if it ever were to decide to move from this area, we think that that structure in and of itself offers some interesting opportunities for health and entertainment in the area through the potential of an indoor sportsplex that could be used not only for the residents of the area, but because of the proximity of that to the Chippenham Parkway could be a regional attraction for the area. On the Chesterfield side, we also think that there are opportunities for professional offices to develop on the vacant land to the north of Hull Street. In 
In addition to that, uh, behind the center, there is already multifamily housing, and we felt that there were opportunities to add additional housing housing to the existing housing stock in that area to help provide a greater population to use that center. So this is the back of the Haynes property today. It's the, it's the view that residents to the right get of this shopping center. And here is the potential of that shopping center were it to be used for multifamily housing and for the Haynes store to finally redevelop into some kind of a community facility such as the Sportsplex facility. Many, many people, despite the fact that there are very few sidewalks on Hall Street, many people walk on Hall Street. And one of the most dangerous areas for people to walk in is right past the Chippenham Interchange. Cars come off the interchange at the Hall Street exit very quickly, and um, it's very dangerous to walk past those, those ramps. And so we looked at a reconfiguration of the ramps that would allow cars to have to just slow down a little bit in order to um, come to a stop before they enter onto Hull Street. And we also looked at opportunities for putting sidewalks in this area to help people bridge between uh, both sides of the interchange. And this is what it would look like. So it's a, a positive enhancement to this area and it's a way for people either on foot or on bike to safely bypass that interchange. Finally, in Chesterfield, we looked at two additional activity centers. One is the activity center at Turner Road that currently contains the Goods Bridge shopping center area and the 360 shopping center area. This area is already a multicultural um, node for the corridor. It has um, many nationalities of restaurants and stores in the area, and we felt that this was an opportunity to build on that unique character of this center to provide a marketplace and really a community, a live, workshop community in this area. The, um, the neighborhood would have streets that would allow residents to walk through the area um, uh, on attractive streets in a grid fashion that would encourage walking and would connect residents to the school site directly to the west of the area as you see on this diagram. Um, Chesterfield County is now looking at the potential redevelopment of the Manchester Middle School site um, to recreate or to renovate or create a new school in this area. Right next to that right now is a large school bus parking facility. We thought that this was a very much of a, of a uh, unfortunate use for that space that those school buses could be parked elsewhere and allow this that site to be used for potential future residential that would be very valuable adjacent to the school uh, with shared park facilities by the school and the community to the south. So this is the Goodsbridge Shopping Center today. And you can see just with the addition of streetscape and open space in this diagram, this visualization, how much change can happen through very little um, happening um, with the structures themselves. And then over the longer term, you could see opportunities to put additional housing into this area, additional stores, um, possibility for other mixed use uses like offices for the market to um, uh, accommodate that. And finally, 
the westernmost uh, activity center is at the um, intersection of Hall Street and Walmsley Boulevard. It's the center that currently houses the Bryan Stratton College campus. Uh, in speaking to the administration for Bryan Stratton College, we understand that um, they are growing rapidly, their programs are expanding, and yet students, when they come to this area, often do not have cars, and they need to, to stay in this area um, sometimes for many hours between classes, and there are very, very few retail opportunities, very few places for open space amenities or for places for them to walk. And so, going back, this center looked at opportunities for additional mixed use and retail, and on the western side looked at senior housing and townhouse development opportunities and used the existing um, uh, stream in this area uh, to uh, use as a open space that would go through the area. So here is the existing um, shopping center with the college. Um, it's very much of a traditional shopping center use. We think that that could be made much more into a campus feeling for the area that would enhance not only the college, but would enhance the whole area. Well, it's nice to have a plan, but you need to have a strategy for implementing it as well. Uh, we looked at seven overall strategies for um, implementing the visions that you just saw. And they are to promote a safe and convenient pedestrian, bicycle, and transit environment, to focus future growth and development in the four mixed use activity centers first, to improve the corridor's overall appearance as our economic planner for the project stressed, it will be very hard to see change occur in this area without first enhancing the way the corridor looks and functions. Um, to grow existing businesses on the corridor and to attract new businesses. To invest in the people who currently live in the area as well as attracting new people to it. To expand the accessibility to a range of different types of open space. And to look at stormwater and efficient ways to handle stormwater as road improvements occur. And to build both resident and business coalitions to help move forward the plan's vision. Each of these overall, seven overall strategies has a long list of steps as well, implementation steps as well as costs and um, uh, roles and responsibilities for various public and private uh, entities to carry forward those recommendations. It's been a pleasure working on this project. Um, it's been a wonderful project and a very special experience. And um, th that's the end of my formal presentation. I'd be happy to take questions. Dr. Rosa, thank you very much for that presentation. Are there any questions from council members? I see Mr. Graham. Yes, ma'am.
Um, the circle that you see here is a quarter mile circle. So it's within a very brief walking distance that you can access all of the facilities that are here. Because that's takes the Wamsley, right? And yes. It's right at Wamsley Boulevard. Yes, it's at Wamsley, right. There is a food line there. Um, but there are no other kinds of facilities. For example, the president of the school talked about the fact that there were no, there wasn't a drugstore for um, students to use. There were very few restaurants, et cetera, in the area. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Robertson had a question that seems to have last. Enhancements 
on both sides that we have found contribute significantly to traffic calming uh, in the area. Um, and so we have retained the three lanes in Chesterfield, but um, have had enhanced the road significantly to give it a very different feel than the current, the feel that it current, currently has. And, and I think that uh, very rightfully so, you, it's a critical need that we have uh, another individual who was hit and killed across the Hall Street over the weekend. Uh, and so when you see the number one objective here is for public safety, I think that's a great, great you know, reason. And one thing that I did not mention is that we looked at where key intersections are and we found that there were, um, there were very poor crosswalks at many of the intersections and you know, anybody who's traveled on Hall Street knows that people run back and forth between the, various, the different sides of the street um, and so we have located intersections as well on Hall Street. Thank you very much, Mr. Trimble. Oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Graziano hasn't had a question yet. I don't have a really good question. I just want to say thank you very much for this study. And I think this is a great um, show of regional cooperation when we have a study on a major artery that includes both the city and the county. I just want to mention that, and, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Trimble. Uh, excuse me, thank you, Ms. Graziano. Ms. Graziano. And then Ms. Trimble.
for a presentation by 